all right good day everybody and welcome back to my channel so today's reading is for the gemini <laughs> all right gemini so thank you guys for coming back and tuning in if you like the content on this page go ahead and like comment and subscribe if you're new to this channel welcome 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 so today's reading is for the gemini if you guys would like a personal reading you can reach me on spiritsoulcoaching.net it's in the description below also if you guys want to follow me on my patreon um that's also in the description below so we're gonna go ahead and get started so spirit what do we have as far as life path for the gemini Alrighty, Gemini, let's see what we have. Ooh, so Gemini looks like there's about to be some traveling, okay? So it seems like um, you're moving in a new direction here. Um, you know, what it looks like is um, you're moving in a new direction and you're not carrying a lot with you. You're not carrying any baggage. You just have one bag, you know, so that may represent, you know, one thing that you can't let go of. Or, you know, you're just traveling light, you know, you, you're moving into a new direction. You're moving into some new energy, you know, but definitely some traveling going on. Definitely some changes occurring for the Gemini, okay? Okay. Oh, so, so this moving in this new direction is almost like, you know, you, you're taking, you, you're stepping away so that you can begin to reflect because the mirror guardian is saying that that's what they need you to do to take time and reflect, you know? Um, so, you know, just reassessing the situation, reevaluating things, just looking at how things unfolded, looking at how things transpired, looking, you know, just reflecting overall reflection. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily have to be with a relationship. It could be with career. It could be with life. It could be with you know things that have occurred in the past. But spirit is just saying that you know it's time for you to do some reflecting. Okay. Yeah. So you're definitely gonna move beyond some ancestral patterns here. You know the elder card came out. So what it's saying is you know there are some things from your past that's like you know. Some ancestral things, some some things that have been passed down to you that are, you know, causing, you know, discontentment, causing you to be closed minded about certain things. So spirit is saying that you're going to have to release, actually release um, a lot of those traditional patterns in order to step into this to this new life that um, you're moving it towards. All right. So um, releasing yourself from ancestral patterns i mean ancestral patterns some of them are good you know you just take what you need from them and then the things that no longer serve you letting it go but definitely something from your past that just you know is causing is continually to resurface and you're constantly revisiting it and this thing is what's actually causing whatever disturbances that you're having in your life you know whatever blockages whatever stagnation all of the root of the root of all of that is ancestral okay all right and so spirit is saying like this emotion that you know maybe you're running away from or that you've been avoiding spirit is saying take time and connect with this emotion because anytime you see the water guardian is dealing with a connection to the emotion okay because what the water do water flows right so spirit is wanting you to connect with this emotion all right don't avoid it you have to connect with this emotion in order to move forward this you have to like you have to connect with it. you have to face this emotion dead on that's why this reflection this reflecting is going on you know this this movement in, in a different direction is going on spirit is saying that you have to um acknowledge that this this thing happened acknowledge that this emotion is present and then you you can move on from it Again, you could, you're about to be embodying this high priestess energy, you know, this high priest energy, all right? This, harnessing this mystic power, like it's a power within you that's about to just reveal itself, all right? It's going to like reveal itself to everybody too, you know, but that's just going to require some release, okay? And which is a great time moving into this um, new year, I mean, into this new month. It's a great time to do a lot of releasing, okay? And then you'll see all the seeds that you planted grow, okay? You're going to be able to see everything that you've done thus far 
in the spring grow because we're moving into the spring right <laughs> yeah so spirit said in the spring you're gonna see all the fruits of these things you know that you have been working on grow okay so what else spirit what else do you have for the gemini it's a beautiful reading just a lot of release for the gemini okay lots of releasing all right what else do we have Let's see. Okay. Okay, so yeah, definite transformation is happening for Gemini. All right. So Spirit is saying that you are experiencing a lot of change right now. Okay. And this transformation must happen. Okay. This transformation has to happen. All right. So lots of change. Okay. Some of you guys are leaving a situation, okay? So it's a lot of change, and, and and you're trying to figure it all out with this reflection here. You're trying to figure it all out, you know? Yeah. So connect with it, and once you connect with it and release it, you'll start seeing how this transformation is going to actually help you on your journey, all right? help you step into this mystic power yeah definitely some past life stuff going on here right so the situation involved your past life and past memories so it's definitely some you know some stuff you're trying to get yourself away from you know you're trying to avoid it at all costs you're trying to move away from it but spirit is saying go towards it spirit is saying acknowledge that energy Embrace that energy. That's how you're going to transform that experience. Okay. Wow. So past life. Okay. What, what, what if your past life is, you know, creating this, you know, is, you know, what, what if, what if your past life have you not let go of or needs to be addressed? Okay. But a beautiful transformation coming for the Gemini. Okay. What do we have for Gemini spiritually? What do we have for Gemini spiritually? So I'm going to lay three cards. And whichever card resonates with you, Gemini, that's what it is, okay? This is a general reading. So Let's see. Mm, author. So you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make time to write it. So Spirit is saying that like you have this. You got a story to be told here. And they want you to make time to write it. Spirit is saying that you're supposed to be an author. I don't know who that's for. But Spirit is saying you are supposed to be an author. And you went through all of this stuff. You went through all of these things. This past life experience that, that you endured. And they want you to write it down. They want you to write this down so you can heal others through this. Don't let this book die inside of you. Some of you are connected with music, all right? And that's going to be how you're going to heal people. These talents and these gifts, and you're going to see them coming through. And you're going to see how these gifts transform the lives of people that, you know, are impacted by it. You're going to see it. It's going to start happening. That's how you guys are going to heal. Mm. Spirit is saying that you are embarking upon a career change. And this career change is going to bring you joy and abundance. You see what I'm saying? See? That's about to be a lot of change, um, Gemini. But <laughs> once you release, ooh, it's going to bring about abundance. Hmm. It's going to bring about abundance. You know. You watch and see. So definitely some of you guys are writers. Got a book inside of you. Spirit saying bring it out. Some of you guys are connected intuitively with music. Music can change your lives. Right? Music that can heal. You guys are going to be healing people through these talents, Gemini. Don't let these talents die. Spirit is saying that the career is 
coming your way. You about to have a change in your career. And it's going to bring about abundance. Okay. Here, what else do you have for Gemini? Okay, so there's some deception and envy going on. I wonder what, you know, there's a lot of deception and envy keep, you know, showing up. Maybe somebody, you know, somebody's envious of you or you're envious of, you know, someone. Maybe you're seeing things going away for a person and you're not okay with that because you feel like it should be you. But it's going to be you, so don't even worry about that. I'm feeling like spirit is saying that, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not envious of me. You just wish that it would be you. All right. And as far as deception, you know, maybe somebody deceived you. I'm feeling strongly about somebody deceived you. Mm-hmm. Somebody deceived you, but it's okay. They're going to pay for it because guess what? You about to prosper. This is a prosperity tree. Okay. It said prosperity begins. See, once you connect with these emotions, prosperity is going to begin. Because that's what the divine is saying is going to happen. That seed you planted, you see that big old tree that blossomed from that? Planted one perfect seed in the ground. And it blossomed into a tree full of fruit. Ready for you to bake. <laughs> ready for you to pluck. The fruits that it bear all right so yeah your prosperity is about to begin gemini you just got to conquer that past life blockage that's holding you back spirit what else do we have for gemini yeah so choose your battles gemini not all battles are meant to be fought here spirit saying choose your battle Spirit said you up against a lot, you know. As soon as you turn, it's something else and something else and something else. And it's knocking your chakras off off balance here. Okay, so Spirit is saying that you're up against a lot. So go ahead and choose your, choose your battles. Choose what you want to deal with and what you don't want to deal with. Okay? Let's see, what else? Open up. Spirit is saying open up. Spirit is saying open up to... You know, open up to them. Open up to yourself. Be truthful with yourself about the situation that's going on with you. Alright? Be truthful with yourself on that. Open up to, you know, if you're masculine, open up to your feminine. Okay? But open up. It's very thing you're doing too. You too closed off. Once you open up, you'll see how things brighten up for you. All right. Mm. What else do you have to give my spirit? Let's see. Ooh. Gemini. Now look at this. Can you see that? Let me see. I'm trying to get it into focus because I need y'all to see this. Spirit is saying they want y'all to go vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not funny but part of opening up and connecting and transforming is working on that spiritual your spirituality you know what is your prayers your your um your meditation whatever it is whatever your whatever your divination is like Spirit is saying that it's, they want, in order to truly transform, they need you to, you know, get all that junk up out of you. And so I'm saying fresh, organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy, which will elevate your spiritual frequency. So they're saying that you'll be able to elevate spiritually if you change your diet up. You got to get rid of all those toxic things, those things that don't do your body any good, all right? And Spirit is also talking about this base chakra for you guys here. And that's because of this past life experience. They want you to get rid of all that stuff, you know, that have you thinking negatively on your career, your finances, your family, your home life, your love life, all of that. That's what Spirit is saying. Like, this base chakra got to get aligned, you guys. Like, cause, because this little experience, 
this this experience showed up in the beginning of your reading that one block that one bag that she's carrying she's moving it she's trying to move in a new direction or he's trying to move in a new direction but there, there's that one thing that they're carrying with them. Like they don't let everything else go, but they're holding on to that one thing. I'm telling you, spirit not playing. Spirit wants you to let it go. But you got to start at the base. You got to start at the base. I'm going to check out love a little bit and see what's going on here. This is a little tiny deck, y'all. You know? Let's see, what love? What does love look like for Gemini and I'm gonna go ahead and this time pull, I'm gonna pull three of these cards just to see and which one resonates with you that one's for you okay so religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path okay so the divine is saying that your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing in your spiritual path so maybe you know your religious beliefs or your spiritual beliefs is the thing that's guiding your love life okay so yeah you know some of you guys may you know have religious belief that that doesn't match the next person and and that's why things aren't balanced inside of the home some of you guys may not be able to find someone that meshes with you because you know they're not in alignment with your your spirituality you know and that's okay too but your love life is dependent upon your your beliefs you know and it it fails and succeeds based off that as well you know some of you are too spiritual and some of you are um you know just spiritual and are, are desiring someone to align with that all right and i could i definitely understand like how that is you know you want somebody that understands you know where you're coming from here so that's why this lady is in distress because she she wants to you know have that that love that she desires so deeply but the the person that she's interested in or the person that she's with is not lining up with her her value system so that was make that makes it hard to like move forward in it i hope that resonates with someone and some of you guys that are waiting say very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you all right so because you know, you guys are on this journey. Spirit is saying that they need you to decide what it is that you want out of this relationship. Or they need you to decide what it is that you want in the relationship that you're asking for. That you're, that you're desiring. Once you decide, then they will deliver. And they said it's coming very soon. But you have to decide what it is that you want first. You can't be like, oh, you know... But I don't know what it is that I want. You do know what it is that you want. You know, so sit down and think about what it is that you want. What what type of person you want spirit to bring into your life for you. So you decide. You manifest the type of person that you want in your life. All right. All right. So. For you guys, is you know, that's in a relationship or, you know, someone just entered in your life. Spirit is saying that this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you see. All right. So somebody lingering around that might be the one that, uh, you know, that might be the one. Okay. That's what Spirit is saying. So whoever it is, you know, you already met them. I'm not sure if they're still around or not, but Spirit is saying you already met that person. So, mm-hmm. Yep. And you might be in a relationship right now. And Spirit is saying that this person might be the one. So, either way, whoever you're dealing with, they might be the one. So, whoever that resonates with, that's that's for you. Alright? Alright, Spirit, what else we got for Gemini? Alright, Gemini. Let's see. Let's, let's see what we're going to close it out with. Okay. Ooh, 
so golden opportunity here. So that this is with this career. There's definitely a golden opportunity coming your way. You got so many options. Spirit saying there's so many, so many opportunities coming your way, and so it's time for you to, you know, decide on which one it is that you want to go ahead and pursue, and they're gonna support you through it. Also, a leap of faith is needing to happen here, because it's almost as uh, it's almost like y'all trust spirit, but you don't. All right, so. You're telling the divine, oh, I trust you with this, and I give thanks for this, and I give thanks for that. But at the same time, it's like you're trying to determine how your life should go. And Spirit is saying, don't do that. You just need to go in there. You just need to have faith. Like, yes, apply action towards whatever it is that you're doing, but you need to have faith. You need to, like, stop trying to manipulate what's going to happen. Because it's going to happen the way that they want it to happen in the time that they want it to happen in, Okay. So pretty much, Gemini, your message is like really cut and dry. But the fact that you started moving in a new direction, but you're holding on to that one thing, lets me know that like you have to confront whatever that thing is because that thing is going to continue, continuously be your block if you don't confront it, reflect on it, and let it go. All right. Spirit saying that it's a lot of things of your past, like traditional stuff. Past life showed up twice. Elder card and the past life card showed up twice. And so what that means is that there are some traditional things that are influencing your day-to-day -day actions that spirit feels need to be reevaluated and let go of. Like you got to let go of those patterns. All right. You got to let go of those habits. All right. And once you, once you do that, do that reflection and connect with that emotion you'll notice that you're going to embody this this power you're gonna it's like you're gonna reclaim your life like you're gonna own it again all right and you'll start noticing some success around the springtime like it's gonna be coming in around spring okay but that transformation is required for all of this spirit is saying that you have these spiritual gifts of being an author you know working with music doing Doing healing through your, doing your story that needs to be told and healing through music, all right? And so, there's going to be a lot of shifting in careers, you know? Like we was talking about the deception and envy, you know, don't even worry about that, you know? Just because you believe that it should have been you, we've all had those moments where we felt like we deserve something more than the next person, but again, divine timing and divine alignment. And once you start, you know, stop focusing on that stuff and just focus that energy on that thing that needs to be healed and do that healing work and, and connect with the divine and open up to them and letting them know what it is that you truly want, then you'll start seeing how you prosper, okay? Yes, you got a lot of different things coming at you from all these different angles, but Spirit is saying that you just choose the battle that you want to deal with and then move on from it gonna require a change in your diet all right you're gonna have to get rid of all that processed everything so that you can be able to connect spiritually with them and they're saying that this work once you begin your spiritual connection that this work has to start at the base have faith lots of opportunities are gonna present itself and you're gonna see how things transpire in the spring like you're gonna see things happening in the springtime all right, so as far as love, pretty much your religion play a big factor in in your love life. You know, your spirituality plays a big factor in your love life. It can be helpful and it can be hindering, you know, depending on which side of the pendulum you're on. All right. And some of you guys uh, that are seeking a relationship very soon, you'll start noticing like this, this person going to come into play, but you got to. Go ahead and sit down with spirit and tell them what type of man or what type of woman that you desire. Because if you if you if you don't have any expectations on what you desire, then any and every old thing will be coming your way. <laughs> and you ain't gonna know what to do. <laughs> but uh the last one, like this person is probably already there. Like 
you probably already know the person. You're probably already hanging out with the person. You're just not seeing that person like that. Or you're probably in a relationship with the person. And you guys just ain't on that next level. And you may be, you know, wanting to move into that that next direction with that person. But you're not sure. So that's what Spirit is saying. Like this one might be the one. But remember to, whatever everything that you do, just have faith and know that spirit is guiding you. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you like the reading. If you do, leave me a comment, hit like, share if you care, and I'll talk to y'all later.